Hello, Mr. Ramsey. Hi. So, uh, when we refer to the topic of uh, putting hands on things, of uh, doing things and also to the education through doing things, within the science centers and scientific museums like, for instance, Muse, could play a key role in the coming years. This is especially true for instance, when we think of youngsters, uh, the next generation. So, what's your opinion about how Arduino could be adopted by science centers and museums to help sustainability, creativity, but first of all, innovation? I do hope that uh, science centers and museums adopt Arduino. I would, I would really like that. Uh, to me, they are very important. It's something I really like, and also they have a big impact on my life. When I was a teenager, I went to London, I was uh, probably 13, and uh, I went to the Science Museum, and I went to the whole, the new section they had just built about computers, and that's why I got interested in computers in the first place. I wanted to uh, learn about computers and how to program, and I went through the whole section, and, and after I was, uh, I did all the experiments in that section, I thought, okay, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna go buy a computer, I'm gonna learn how to program. So for me, it was very important. Fifteen years later, I moved to live in London to work. So the first thing I did was to go back to the Science Museum to kind of thank the Science Museum for doing this for me. So this was very, very emotional for me. And so having said this, I think, uh, well, I think Arduino is a platform that was designed for people to create with technology, to be creative in a way, and also to be able to be taught to people that don't have a lot of experience. So I'm sure that. In a, in a science center, in a museum, it's possible to create spaces where people can come into contact with this technology. But also, if we can imagine that we can build part of the exhibitions, part of the systems based on open technology, based on Arduino, you can really turn the science museum into a platform that you can use, you can adapt. The people who come can use it as a canvas. They can basically reprogram the museum, they can hack the museum. So I think these kind of things you can do with open technologies like Arduino, they really change the nature of life. Instead of going to a museum where you see things in a box, you leave, you come back multiple times, you, you interact over a long period with, with, the, with the science center.